Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Angela. I am a full-time voiceover artist and audiobook narrator, and this channel is dedicated to those of you that are just starting out in this wonderful world of voiceover. And I'm hoping to share with you a little bit of uh, some techniques and some tips and tricks that I use to help you along your own journey and to grow your own business. So today I wanted to um, talk about a question that I get, um, a question that I've got a lot in the last week, and that is in regards to recording e-learning um, and then splitting the files. For instance, say you have a, an, an e-learning project that um, is an entire course, perhaps, but this course is broken up into separate modules. So how would you go about recording all of those and then splitting the files and then delivering those to the client? That's what I'm going to talk about today in today's video. So let's get started. So here is an e-learning project that I've recorded for a client. And I will try to record the entire course all in one go, all on one file. And I do this for a couple of reasons. Because if you think about it, if you get up to go get a drink of water, go use the bathroom, if you record it on different days, the proximity to the mic and your position in your chair, there's a lot of factors that could change to make the sound a little bit different. But if you try to record everything, the entire course, all at one time on one file, that even allows you to, when you do the processing later, all the processing is the same across the entire file, which also helps it to sound more uniform in the end. So when I go back through and edit it, as I get to the end of each module, I will use a marker. To place the marker, you just hit M on your keyboard. So if I want a marker here, I'll hit M, and there I have a new marker. And I can delete this marker, or I can right-click and add a marker. And you can choose, whoops, there's different types of markers. Um, these are really just different color markers. Like for instance, if I wanted a subclip marker, see how it's blue. The subclip marker is blue, so they're really just different colors, and you can move these markers around to wherever you want them to be. So when, as I edit, I'll typically add about a half a second to the head of, the, of each section, and then at the end of each module, and then the beginning of the next module, I will place about a second of room tone, and then place a marker right in the middle. So in essence, you're giving a half a second of room tone at the end of the module proceeding, and then a half a second of room tone at the beginning of the next module, if that makes sense. So then as I go through, I will mark the beginning and end of each module with a marker. So this is kind of like where it splits in my head, right? So here I have uh, quite a few modules to split. Now, the client wants these delivered as individual files. That is why I marked these with markers so I can see where each module begins and each module ends. So when I select each module by the marker and then right click copy to new, there is my module already with a half a second of room tone at the beginning and then a half a second of room tone at the end. And now I have an untitled file, and I'm going to name this file. I'm going to save it as, you know, whatever the course name is, module one, module two, whatever you're going to name it. Then you would just go back to your master file and continue to go on. See, I've already copied this one because it's highlighted, so I know I've already done this one. And then just highlight the next one from marker to marker, and then copy to new. And there is my second module. And then just name it module one, module two, whatever that module is. So that is how I record and process and then split the files. But how do you deliver all of these individual files to a client? Well, what I use is Google Drive. I go to my Google Drive and I create a new folder. And you can name this folder the name of your client, for instance, and then create the folder. And then once you have your folder created, you just simply upload all of those files into that folder. And if you have multiple courses, you could have an individual folder for each course. 
and then all of the individual files within that folder. And then all you would need to do once you have all of your folders, or once you have all of your files within your folder, you would right click the folder name, get link. Make sure you change it from restricted to anyone with link so the client can actually download those files, copy the link, and then send the client that link, whether it's in email or if it's on like Fiverr or Upwork, because Fiverr and Upwork have a size limit to the amount of files that you can send them in one, in one go. So you can either send multiple messages through Fiverr, for instance, to upload all of these files, or you can simply send the client a Google Drive folder link that has all of their files within it, if that makes sense. And that is how I handle e-learning file splitting. And this technique could be used for really anything that's long, like a long project, lots of narration that needs to be split into separate files. This way, everything sounds uniform, but then delivered as separate files to the client. So e-learning, audiobooks, PowerPoint narration, telephony, really anything that's a lot of narration that needs to be split into separate files, this technique could be used for. So I hope this video really helps. And uh, if you have any questions or comments for me, please leave them down below or you can send me an email if you like. If you'd like even more information, come on over to my website at voiceoverangela.com. I've got courses there. I've got a membership program where I live stream for them once a week for a live Q&A session. I've got one-on-one -on -one coaching services and great recommended gear to get you started in voiceover. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. Why not? Thank you so much for watching this with me today, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.